Okay. Uh, next, we'll go to Lori Milroy, Curtis Dan, 24. Then after that, Jeff Selden from VOA. Thank you, Colonel Dillon, for doing this, and best of luck in your new position. I have a question on um, General Funk's trip to Erbil. He met uh, with Chancellor Barzani there. Could you give us a readout on that meeting? Um, I don't have a readout on that meeting just yet. I can confirm that uh, General Funk did meet uh, with uh, Chancellor Barzani and other uh, senior leaders. Uh, that is not uncommon. Uh, uh, General Funk has met with uh, Chancellor Barzani several times. I'm, I suspect he will meet with him again uh, in the future. Uh, but I do not have a readout uh, of what was discussed, but I'm sure it was all focused on uh, security issues and how the coalition can continue to support uh, the Peshmerga and uh, Kur Kurdish uh, security elements uh, as we look towards the elections and into the future. Are you, encur are you encouraging cooperation between the Iraqi security forces and the Peshmerga in the disputed territories to control uh, the violence there? Um, I will say that you know, we are, are encouraging uh, the you know, government of Iraq, Iraqi security forces, Peshmerga you know, to uh, work together. We have seen how that has been successful. We saw that they worked together in Mosul. We saw they worked together in Talafar. We saw they worked together in Hawija. And ISIS, they will um, look for seams, um, both metaphorically and, uh, and literally, uh, on the ground. So uh, the government of Iraq, Prime Minister Abadi, uh, knows that uh, all Iraqis require you know, security, and that includes northern Iraq. So uh, the, the coalition uh, is uh, working together with uh, both Peshmerga and government of Iraq uh, with training, with equipment, with support, uh, but also in working together so that they can uh, identify ISIS threats, ISIS remnants, and go after them.